in this video i will discuss about five variable k map that is how to use five variable k map if given function consists of five variables let me assume five variables are a b c d e that is let a b c d e are the five variables so for five variables we need 2 power 5 that is 32 cells if we use one k map one four variable k map then maximum we can use 16 cells so for five variables we suppose to use two k maps that's why here i have shown two k map so in two k map we will consider the variable a that is for this k map i will use the variable a is equal to 0 for this k map variable a is equal to 0 and for this k map variable a is always equal to 1 so the remaining variables that is b c d e should be written here that is this is b c d e here also this is b c d e this k map is for a equal to 0 this k map is for a equal to 1 so total b c d e and a that is five variables now i will tell you how to put the numbers so as we know this is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 this is normal four variable k map 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 similarly here also 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so here let this a equal to 0 this is a equal to 1 so now here the numbers will be same as for four variable k map that is 0 1 this cell number is 2 this is 3 because it is 0 0 0 0 is 0 0 0 0 1 is 1 likewise 2 3 this is correspond to decimal number 4 0 1 0 1 is 5 this is 6 7 this is 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and this cell number is 15 so after 15 we have to start the next cell number that is 16 16 has to start from here this is 16 we have 17 this is 18 this is 19 20 21 22 23 this is 24 25 26 27 this is 28 29 30 and 31 so here we can observe that 2 power 5 is 32 we have 0 to 31 that is total we have 32 cells so by using two k maps we can accommodate 32 cells we can use 32 cells so here this k map in this k map variable a is equal to 0 in this k map variable a is equal to 1 now we will see how to do the grouping so here we should imagine two maps are super superimposed on each other so here we have two maps so so here we have to assume that these two maps are not placed in series or not cascaded so this map is that is map a equal to 1 is superimposed on a equal to 0 like this we have to imagine imagine so in each cell in one map is adjacent to the corresponding cell on the other map that is here each cell that is here i can say cell number 0 is adjacent with cell number 16 because here it is said that each cell in one map is adjacent to the corresponding cell on other map corresponding cell means at same position we have to consider so here it is first cell is 0 here first cell is 16 so this 0 and 16 are adjacent to each other likewise 1 is adjacent to 17 3 is adjacent to 19, 2 is adjacent to 18, like that. 4 is adjacent to 20, 12 is adjacent to 28, and so on. Every row in one map is adjacent to the corresponding row on the other map. It means that 
here if i consider the row 0 1 2 3 as row that, that is if i consider this row this row is adjacent with this row on another map so likewise this row is ad adjacent with this row similarly this row is adjacent with this row and this row is adjacent with this row next we have every column in one map is adjacent to the corresponding column on the other map corresponding means at same location so here if we consider first column of this is adjacent to first column of this that is this column is adjacent with this column similarly second column is adjacent with second column here third column is adjacent with third column and fourth column is adjacent with fourth column rightmost and leftmost columns of each map are adjacent so here the first cell first column and last column of this a equal to 0 map are adjacent that is this cell 0 4 12 8 2 6 14 10 are adjacent to each other similarly here the first column and this column are adjacent to each other so next we have rightmost column of one map is not adjacent to the leftmost column of the another map it means that here the column 2 6 14 10 is not adjacent to 16 20 28 and 24 likewise 18 22 30 26 column is not adjacent with 0 4 12 and 8 similarly top row of one map is not adjacent to the bottom row of another map it means that here the row 0 1 2 3 is not adjacent to 24 25 26 and 27 row similarly 16 17 18 19 row is not adjacent with 8 9 10 and 11 row so this is about five variable k map now let me take one simple example so that we can understand better on five variable k map now let me simplify this boolean function using five variable k map simplify the function here the mean term values are given so we supposed to write one in these cells so here the variables are five we supposed to use two four variable k maps so these are the two four variable k maps this is with respect to a equal to zero this is with respect to a equal to one so now the cell numbers are we have one three four six that is we have one three four six so then we have 9 11 12 14 9 11 12 14 then we have 17 19 20 22 17 19 20 22 then we have 25 27 we have 25 27 28 30 that is we have 28 and 30 so now we'll try to simplify this so here we can observe that this one one and this one one are adjacent to each other similarly here this one one and this one one are adjacent to each other so we can consider these one one this one one this one one this one one are adjacent to each other so i can write it as this one and this one similarly this this one and this one so with respect to this the expression here it is so here if you consider these two columns the common factor is e that is e and with respect to these two rows the common factor is c bar that is c bar so here a equal to zero it means it is a bar c bar e so this also we have to consider so with respect to this i can write plus with respect to this it is a and here also it will be same row and same column because these two are corresponding to each other therefore this will be a c bar e so simplifying this we know that c bar e is common here i can write 
C bar E is common here A plus A bar. That is A bar plus A which is equal to 1. Therefore, it is C bar E. So, if we do the grouping in both the KMFs, then we no need to consider this variable A because anyhow its value will become 1 as we can see here. So, directly we can write it as C bar E. That is here the common term and we have to find row wise common term and we have to write the expression. So, this is C bar E. So, next we have this 1 1. This 1 1 and this 1 1. Similarly, here also this 1 1, this 1 1 are adjacent to each other. So, this 4 12 are adjacent to 20 and 18. 6 14 are adjacent to 22 and 30. Similarly, 4 12 is adjacent to even 6 14. 20 28 is adjacent to 22 30. So, together I can take a single expression. This is this one and this one. Here, this one and this one. So, together I can write it as between these two columns, the common factor is 0, 0, 1, 0. That is 0. 0 is corresponds to E. That is E bar. So, here also we will get the same thing. That is E bar itself. So, with respect to these two row or these two row, both are same. So, here the common term is C. That is C E bar. So, therefore, the final expression is F equal to we have C bar E C bar E plus we have C E bar C E bar. So, this is nothing but XOR gate that is C XOR E. So, this is the simplified expression. So, this is how we supposed to use 5 variable K map. In my next video, I will take one more example on 5 variable K map. Thank you for watching.